whether it be the Blues or any other ice dance, the best in the world for the past two years. Marina Klimova and Sergei Ponomarenko, however, they were not at their best in the compulsory dances. They'll try to make amends here. They're going to have to have a strong performance here in this element of the dance event if they wish to reestablish themselves as really contending for that title. to North America, I thought Marina and Sergey really captured the essence of what a blues is all about. I really liked it as well, although costume-wise, I thought it reminded me more, a little more of a Madonna video. It's interesting the way those kind of influences come into something such as a dance event. Mark Janicek and Jackie Peter were involved in a bit of a problem with costumes at Skate Canada. They didn't wear those costumes to the Nationals, but they said after seeing Marina, they'll probably come back to them here at the Worlds. Well, as we see in this replay, the movement and the unison of this team in some rather difficult positions is quite excellent. The world champions weren't sharp during the compulsory dances. They told us they took three weeks off when the steroid scandal broke, and it certainly has affected their performance. The first set of marks for Klimova and Ponomarenko, mostly five eights. And now the presentation marks. And there they are, five eights and five nines. So they will be the early leaders after the original dance. Marina Klimova and Sergei Ponomarenko of the Soviet Union. We'll be back with the Soviet champions, Usova and Zulin, when we return to the 1991 World Figure Skating Championships.